Praise the Lord Church. Good morning and trust you are well and well in the Lord. Uh, it is yet another beautiful Sunday morning that we have the opportunity to thank the Lord and worship Him and even listen to His word as He directs us even during this period where we're all staying at home. I trust that you've been safe and you've been keeping your distance and you've been doing all that the government tells us to do. And more so, have you been reading the word of God and have you been praying as a person, as an individual and even as a family? Welcome to our morning service and let us start with the word of prayer. Lord, we thank you so much for loving us. We thank you so much for your goodness and for your grace. Lord, even as we start our service this morning, we pray the Lord your spirit is going to lead us. And the Lord your word is going to come to us, O oh Lord, and teach us, correct us, encourage us, build us. For this we pray in the name of Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. So it is a high time that we get to worship the Lord and thank him and sing to him and make him know that, Lord, we are still here as vessels of your own making. Welcome in Jesus' name.
stand against the king. No one can. No one will. Oh, oh, victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to
And another thing that can make us fry up, it is being tired of being the same. You know, it's one thing to admire to have wings, but it is another thing to fry if you have the wings. Do the ducks have wings? Do the chicken have wings? But do they fry? They don't fry. So the most important thing is not to decide to have the wings, but it is to decide to have the wings and fry. And that's the most important thing. So aim high and also teach your children to be better than you. Teach them to fry and even go and help them to, to benchmark with other birds which are frying very high. That is very, very important. Number two, the things that make people not to fry up high. Familiarity. One of the reasons why this person was at the pool for 38 years was probably he was getting arms and he was getting help there at the pool. You know, today if you go to the mosques, if you go to Jamia there in town, you are going to see poor people begging for, for things there. And those people who go to pray there, you know, they are very happy to give those because that is just like getting a ticket to, to heaven. So they gladly give those because it is a one way of getting a ticket to go to heaven. And these people who were in the pool, like this person who had been there for that eight years, probably he was going there with a, a hope that probably within one week he'll be healed and he'll just be like other people and start doing business like other people. But this guy, after one week, one month, he became familiar with the environment. He got used. Familiarity is a very big thing that can make you not fry up. It can make you remain in the pool for a very, very long time. The pool of a dreaded food not worked for. He had become bride of alternative to his lifestyle. Have you seen people who are normal, not sick, and they are very strong, but they don't work? They are there. A normal person, physically fit, mature, but they are just there at home and they don't work. That's very, very, very serious. There are so many of them in our community. And they started like that, and they stayed for one week, then a year, and they have become familiar. And now they see nothing bad for being idle. And now they have become a problem to the society. They don't add any value to the society. They have become consumers, and they don't add anything. This guy had gotten comfortable with the stories that they were talking with the other beggars there. And they were becoming sweet each and every day. And he was becoming a very, very happy person. The guy had become familiar with the poor. And this guy now was missing nothing. He had gotten used of the life around the pool. My brothers and my dear sisters, probably you are there and you have become so used to that bad situation. The Lord wants you to stretch your wings. He wants you to run to fry and he wants you to fry. Yes, start just to fry low and eventually you'll be able to fry up like an eagle. May the Lord help us to put away the things that can make us remain in that pool 
for a very, very long time. May we open our eyes so that we don't get used to the situations that can make us remain in the pool for a very, very long time. The other things that can make us remain in the pool are what we call the structures. The structures that support, that support the systems that support, that support our disabilities. You know, like the structures you put here so that you can walk with them if you have physical, if you are able to differently. And these structures, they support and help us to get stuck in that bad behavior or that bad situations. These things make us very comfortable in our comfort zones. And then because we get so comfortable, we hate to make a move. In fact, we also hate people who tell us to make a, a move. We wonder, this person is telling me to go and do what? I eat here, I sleep here, I've been here for all these years in this pool. This person is telling me to do what? They even start hating people who tell them to make a move because of these structures. These people who are stagnant, they stick there. And they don't move, they are completely stagnant. They don't want to take any risk to be made whole. Some of them are graduates, but they don't want to do anything. Some of the structures that support those idle graduates are, for example, a very overcaring mother. If you have a very overcaring mother and you sleep until 11 a.m., and when you wake up, you reluctantly take a breakfast until you're allowed noon there. Then at allowed noon, you go to the shopping center and come back in early afternoon. You start watching TV, movies, and then you sleep. And your life, you can develop a character and a habit to be like that for the rest of your life. And because your mother is always encouraging you, oh, 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 kadadi, eh, baba, eh, have you eaten? Because of those kind of structures, they can spoil you and support your listener's disability. And if you're not careful, you can remain the same for that eight years. May the Lord help us to be able to discern these structures that support our disabilities, that support our situations to remain the same and not change. May the Lord help us to be like eagles so that we can be able to see far. If you are a graduate and then you don't have a job because the opportunities are, are few, you can frontier. Become a frontier and gain experience. Those people who are like eagles, this is what they do. They don't become lazy. They don't go to the pool. No. They do voluntary jobs. They frontier. And then they gain the experience. For example, me, I don't know how to take these videos. But if I was a fresh graduate, I don't have a job. By now, I would have befriended my friend Minor. And of course, <laughs> by now, I'll be on the way of becoming an expert by just befriending him. Nothing more. For frontier. You know, those people who are like eagles, they can be able to see far. They, they are able to see what they can do. They don't want just to remain in the pool. They don't want to die there. No. They are able to do things because they can be able to see far. My brothers and my dear sisters, these are the things we can be able to do. We don't have to die and remain at the pool for that eight years, for 20 years. We can make a move. Yes, you may appear to be like a, a stupid person to work for somebody for free, but you know what you are doing. You can be able to see far like an ego. Eventually, you will succeed. And those people who were thinking that you are fool, they will come to start and uh, to hate you. 
Because they have seen that you have succeeded. And then, of course, when you succeed, the stories of the poor will be stories about you. And how you have stolen money, and that is why you are successful. Because those are the useless talks of the poor. The useless talks, the apostle Paul, uh, you say, no, it's Paul, Paul who was writing to Timothy, and, and he was talking about the stories of old ladies. That Kikuyu says, that's what the, the Bible, it's not me, Mukundu, is saying, but it is the Bible. And those are the stories of the poor. But those people who fries up, their stories are different. They are stories of birds that can fry up. And you know, if you're able to fry up, you can be able to see far. So the stories also will be half a quality. May the Lord lift us up. May the Lord build us. May the Lord destroy the structures that support our stickness to the situation of the poor for so many years. Amen? May the Lord help us to make a move. Jesus came to this man and told the man, what do you want me to do? And then the man said, I want to be healed. And I really congratulated this man for saying that. He wanted a difference in his life. And Jesus told this man, take your mat and make a move. And you see, a mat was the place where he was sitting. It was like a license to beg. And Jesus was telling him, take that structure. And make a move. The structures were being destroyed. May the Lord destroy the structures that support our stickness to bad situations, to stagnation, to being there for a very long time. May the Lord destroy those structures today. Somebody say amen. amen. We've been there for so long. May the Lord change our lives. The other thing, that pulls us down and it makes us not be able to fry up is something we call apostasy. Many, many Christians are becoming apostate. And this is a, a good word. It's a very different from being spiritual. And it is not even of being unspiritual. It is falling away. It is the same as backsliding from a high spiritual level to a very low level. And my brothers and my dear sisters, all of us, we are prone, we are vulnerable to being apostates. We are all prone to be called spiritually. There are so many people who appear to be very strong, but deep in them, they are very far away from God. They are posted. Yes, they speak like this, but they do the other way. They have drifted away from God, and they live like that. Yes, we can talk as if we fly up in heaven and live there, but simultaneously, we have the things that weigh us down and put us to the ground. May the Lord help us to leave those things that hid us to fry and to remain spiritual until the end. Probably those things are like probably a phone contact in your phone. And you only need to delete that number. You need just to send a message and say, I'm sorry, I just wanted to inform you that I have changed. I'm a different person. You just write a short message and then you delete the contact or you broke it. As simple as that. If that was a very big burden that was weighing you down, then you'll be able to fry up, up high, and you see God. Amen? Maybe just that phone contact. Delete that foot contact. Just write a simple message. And broke or delete that contact. Probably, it is a chama that you, you are a member of. Of course, I don't mean that all chamas are bad. I know there are chamas that are good. And people, 
especially ladies, they miss those chamas because there they pray, they seek the face of the Lord, and they support each other socially. And they are good chamas that builds people up. They build them spiritually, they build them even financially, and they also build them with ideas. But there are also other chamas that weigh people down. They cannot be able to fry. A sister who was frying up there like an eagle joined the chama. But one month down the line, the sister is speaking like the world. She's behaving like the world. May the Lord help us to realize those things that make us apostate. If that chama that you joined is the headquarter of all the village rumors, please quit. Just look for money and pay them and tell them, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm becoming busy. I don't think I don't want to offend you. I will not be car. I will not be coming. You just disconnect. And when you disconnect, you'll be able to fry up. Because some of these things you can you can connect yourself. Why are you down to remain there for so 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 many years? May the Lord help us. To discern the things that weigh us down and they make us cold. Some other people, our brothers, they have joined some groups. And these groups, a brother was a very spiritual person. He was always in church with the family, together, worshiping God and loving God. And then this Mze just joined that group. And then he has given very bad counsel. And then within a year, the Mze is looking for a second wife. He's becoming cruel to the wife because of the story he has been given in that area. And the man who was very spiritual becomes apostate and he's backslid. May the Lord help us to know these things. May the Lord help you, Mze, to fly up like an eagle, to be able to see the world. Don't see just there, just that small community. Don't become a member of a small community. Become a member of the global of the global atmosphere, the global mentality, so that you can be able to see far, like an eagle. Don't join those groups, which will make you rust. And then some years down the line, you don't have a family. You are poor and broken-hearted. Those are the things that weighs you down. A choir member who was always worshipping, good, befriends other people, and then they wear you down, and then you are lost. In conclusion, my brothers and my dear sister, we have a very high calling. The Lord wants us to fly up there. The Lord wants us to see big things. The Lord wants to give us big ideas. We are not created to remain in the pool, to be stagnant, to be there, restricted. We are not called to a lockdown. We were created like eagles, having wings. You know, the other day I read about uh, a bird that was tagged with a GPS signal thing. And this bird within one month had flew towards China, through Mongolia towards China. And I really admired birds and I said, wow, you mean birds are so free? Birds are able to move all over the world freely. This is amazing and I was very happy about that. In fact, you also read about the other bird that flew from Finland to here. This is amazing. Yes, we need to be free people. We need to fry up. We don't want to be stuck in the pool for a very long time. Discern the things that disconnect with you the power that can make you overcome the power of gravity and fly in the storms there. Being like an eagle. We must desire to have a purpose-driven life. A life of a high calling. Are you tired? To remain the same. May the Lord help you to understand that you have a very high calling. A life you can enjoy. A life that you are happy about. 
And this mother I saw in the social media, a lady who was 90 years old there in America, who refused to have an inventator because she got this uh, coronavirus. And she said that I'm 90 years old, I have lived a very good life. You can give this ventilator to a young person. I have enjoyed my life. And I really thought, wow, I, and I know some of you guys, you saw that. Can you imagine the kind of life that that lady had lived? She had enjoyed, she had lived to the fullness. She had flew up high in her life like an eagle. But if she was in the pool, and now she is in regrets, she will be fighting to get that penetrator so that maybe she could add one more year to do something. But she had done all she decided to do. Are you the kind of a person? Are you happy with your life? Are you flying up high? Are you stuck at the pool? Or are you happy with what God has done in your life? I pray that the Lord will help you to live well. If you are living in the pool, that is not a good life. If your life has been a life of the dark, swimming on dirty pools, then that is not a good life. But the good thing is that you can change today. The word of God says that today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of your salvation. The Lord wants to save you. The Lord wants to disconnect you from the pool. The Lord wants to give you the wings. The Lord wants to make you an eagle. The, want, the Lord wants you to fly up high. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, we thank you so, so much for your word. It is true that our Father, you don't want us to be stagnant. You don't want us to remain in the pool for a long time. But you want us to fly up like eagles because that is your desire for us in Christ Jesus. Now, Lord, we repent and we pray that, Lord, you've been reluctant. You have been low achievers, but now, Lord, we want to change and become high achievers. And we know, Lord, that we cannot be able to achieve this without you. May you manifest your power and your grace in our lives. We want to be different people. We want to change. And Lord, we want to be different persons. May you change us. May you anoint us that the yokes may be broken for the glory and honor of your name, O oh God. Our God and our Father, we want to pray for our families back home. We want to pray, Lord, that you may bless the members of our home. Lord, those who are discouraged, because the opportunities in life have become more stream. Lord, we pray that you may help us to be encouraged. Those many of us in our families, those who are tired and weary, may you give us strength like an eagle this morning, O oh God. We pray, Lord, even for our readers in this land and our nation, that, Lord, you also may give them wisdom and encouragement, that, Lord, they may also help us to reach higher heights like eagles. Thank you, Lord, for what you are going to do. May you bless the world where we live, O oh God. May you bring to an end this problem of the pandemic that has come our way. And Lord, we pray, even as you say in your word, that you are going to do a new thing, that Lord, you are going to do a new, better thing in our lives. So that, Lord, we may continue to enjoy this life and to enjoy you and fellowship with you. May you bless, Lord, the members of this motto in Paris. Our congregations, Motoine, Lord, and even Manyata and Karide. May you bless the leadership in those congregations. May you bless our people there, our Lord. Those who are discouraged, may they be encouraged this morning. Those who are suffering, Lord, may the suffering come to an end. And those, Lord, who are paining, may you give them health and healing in Jesus' name. Thank you, our God and our Father, because you are going to stand still to see your salvation. And hear testimonies of what you have done in our lives. We bless you, we exhort you, and we honor you. For we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.